Hello world, I hope everybody is home safe and welcome to episode 2 of Vlog Along with Cam P. So, what's hot on the streets? Okay, let's start with Daphne. Daphne recently had 2 million followers on IG, which makes her the highest Cameroonian singer with followers on the app. This is not the first time Daphne is opening doors in Cameroon. You know, Daphne has brought home awards and has been nominated for awards, which are... Um, Many Cameroonian artists have never been nominated for, so big up to Daphne, keep doing what you do. Ex Cameroonian striker Mohamed Idrisu, who has played for top clubs in Germany like Frankfurt, recently declared himself broke as he said he's currently playing for a club which pays him 540 euro. He said he went from driving uh, luxurious cars to training and now he is working at full food for good training. He said, Yes, yeah, a talent day, but not just mismanagement, and as if you are fine, palava woman. So actually now, you know, get any money. So the guy is broke. Okay, so next up, Mr. Arrogant was they claps back at fans for calling him out. Fans were asking what he has done for his country. This happened after was they did a post showing what Nigerian celebrities and businessmen are doing in their country to help combat coronavirus. So critics took to the uh, singer's page to ask him what he was they has done for the country and was they said um they were all being stupid why because he was just trying to say that um this is a time in which government the government is supposed to partner with other companies to help themselves the internet broke loose yesterday after uh pictures were released of rihanna's book cover and she copied Renee's. we had fans from one side saying she's not copied Renee's. That Renee's never created the style, and we had fans from another side saying she copied Renee's. But the fact is, be it as it may, even if Rihanna did not copy Renee's, I'm sure Vox magazine stylists must have seen a few shots of Renee's with a hairstyle to get their before commenting it on Rihanna. So just drop in the comment section below who you thought slid the hairstyle best. Oops. Next up, we have Mr. Lufiana Reyamo. Teno, who recently took to his Facebook account, fired shot at his, at his ex-manager and called him a hypocrite and liar, asking him to stop manipulating young, young upcoming Cameroon artists and telling them they have a future and exploiting them. We are still to get a reply from the manager, but as of now, that's all we have for you. Okay, Cameroonian billionaire Amadou Danpulu and legendary football striker Samuel Eto both donated um, the sums of a hundred million francs each to the Ministry of Health to help Cameroon combat the coronavirus. Well, I guess everybody knows who Samuel Eto is. I mean, but for those of you who don't know who Amadou Danpulo is, he's one of the richest Cameroonian men. Uh, he's a businessman and he has shares in many companies like Nextel and many others. Cameroonians have been whispering all over the internet ever since they heard the news that Cameroonian basketballer Joel Embiid, who plays for the Philadelphia Sixers, has donated a sum of $500,000 to the American government to help combat the coronavirus. $500,000, I guess, about 289 million francs, which he donated to the U.S. to help fight and he has donated nothing to the country. Well, fans are commenting, critics are talking, people are saying it's his money, he chooses what he needs to do with his money. Others are saying, eh, uh, money means save it, he say no, no, say Cameroon a country, get for hell, help, Cameroon do ever do it, see for he, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's fans for us. Okay, for your top five tracks of the week, I have a few tracks I want you to listen to. Some which have been dropped, some which have not yet been dropped, which I believe will be fire. First off, we have New Bell Music's Tata. Tata, country boy with a wind boom flow, recently dropped his album titled The Naughty Force Love. It's an album you need to check out. It represents the culture, it represents everything so real. Okay, next up, Bamenda Boy Magasco decides to do an acoustic version for his track title Baby Mama. You should definitely check it back. Check out Baby Mama. Baby Mama and a bad fine song. The song is Jack Person very badly. That's the song. It's everything you need. Yeah, just go check out Baby Mama. Number three on the list is Bikuti singer Manibela. After doing a little bit of punching online with um Lady Paul, she decides to drop her track, Bikut Cast. 
podcasts now available on all platforms. For those of you who love Be Could See and love the Cameroonian culture, make sure you check Be Could Cast out. This track I'm about to give you right now has not yet been released, but I believe the track is going to be fire. It is from beatmaker and singer Kuramista producer featuring Mark Cedric, titled Everyday 2. Everyday 2 drops in a few days. And make sure you check the picture below to get the date. The fifth but not the least track you should be listening to is the track titled Change, which features the Love and Fury. Um, it's a track which um, targets all the bad happenings, the genocide, the marginalization and all in the country. So you should definitely check this out and make sure you support your love on this project. Okay, thank you guys very much. That's all we have for you for now on the channel. But don't bother. Next week, we're going to be back with videos. We're sorry the past week could not upload. I had a lot of things in mind. My sister was getting married and all. But as from now, we're going to be uploading videos every week or every three days. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to Campy Productions. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Subscribe to Tori Day's YouTube channel. Follow them on IG, Facebook, and Twitter. And please, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and a share. Thank you.